So, when it comes to this episode, when it comes to this series, you know, as of late, I think of one thing and, and or one thing comes to mind, and that is one of the lowest characters in the anime, really. I mean, one of the just biggest POSs in anime that I've seen, to be quite honest, mine willing to even do her sister, sister in, you know, take away her life, take away her right to live, just because, one, Melty steps on her toes, two, she has some just bias and dis discrimination towards the shield hero that makes no sense as of yet you know judging by the opening it seems as if she is part of a cult per se you know you see her standing behind the religion members and then them in front of her and then she her telling them to go attack maybe she's in charge per se so but nonetheless though you're one to do in your own sister the girl that you grew up with, the girl that you probably loved to death before you got to a certain age, you know, up until now, before the shield hero became an issue, now you're choosing to be this way? That's 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 really sad, and it's really frustrating. And even if Melty got, you know, redemption per se, like she finally got put in her place, and she kind of just thought, you know, evaluated herself and her old ways and the actions she did, and she's broken because of her actions that she did, and I'm hitting, punching my mic around, um, I don't. I still don't know if I could forgive her, even if she comes to the real, you know, realization and gets her character development. What she's done is it forgivable? I'm going to ask you guys. That's an interesting question, I think. But other than that, though, her going as far to really say the brainwashing is why Melty wants to stay by the Shield Hero side, and we saw that you know Naofumi was really. Want to say, hey, let's. I don't want to even fight anybody. I don't want to hurt anybody. This is senseless. You know, I don't hurt for, I don't punch, I don't fight for nothing. And he's even willing to give her up. And I feel like that, you know, moment was really, really, really good. It had a lot of emotional value for the scene or it added to the atmosphere. Not necessarily making us, the viewers, emotional, no, per se, but it added to the, you know, the intensity of the atmosphere because he's willing to do so. And then he took it back and just said, Mel Melty said no. She was scared. He could tell he, she was in true despair seeing her own older sister, probably someone she looked up to in certain regards as well, and she wants to kill her. She sees the look in her eyes that, that says, I'm going to do you in. That's sad. That's, that's really sad. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, so moving on to something else, though. I do love the relationship that Naofumi does, you know, kind of show with the uh, the sword hero, Ren. And I like these relationships in anime a lot because they're like friends that just treat each other really, really like, they, they're like really good friends in a way because they have a super profound respect for another. And I think a lot of us could agree. You can tell Ren has a respect for Naofumi and Naofumi has a respect for Ren. Because they both, you know, outside of Ren being somewhat confused, you could you could tell that he knew something was up. He's always the one that's hesitant. He's always the one that has kept his integrity. When the when the you know the shield hero is right, the shield hero hero is right. He may be look look at like a villain. He may walk like a villain. He may talk like a villain. But his actions are usually just. They may be anti heroic per se, but. He still does the right thing. He still does the good thing. And his actions are always more morally correct than they are, you know, not morally correct and or immoral. So I really do like the relationship. It's maybe it's not even a friendship that to where they treat each other just badly because like they love each other, not in that way, but you know how we there's like that love hate relationship. That's kind of them. And maybe it's not even that. Maybe they're not friends whatsoever in a weird way. Maybe they just have respect for one another. And I like that. I just kind of like those relationships. Not necessarily friends, but I respect the shit out of you. I don't really like you, but damn do I respect you. I love those kind of relationships. So also at the end, we get to see that looks like mine's burning a village. Probably going to frame that on the Shield Hero 2. Since all that visual stuff was all false, it was all fake. To, and just broadcasting it to the world. Um, and it also makes me wonder why th this other country that they're going to must hate 
the other, you know, the country that they're in right now to where they wouldn't give a shit. You know, you, you kidnapped the princess? Hey, the princess wants to live with us? Hey, let's do this despite her fame. Let's do this despite that noble family over there. Let's do it despite that country. Let's make it so they can't kill her. Let's protect them. Let's just fucking ma- mess with them. That's the kind of, you know, kind of uh, relationship they, these two countries probably have. But now we get to see that they are going to where the queen is. And I, this is really important for the series because now it's going to show us what the queen's really up to. Why the fuck isn't she in the capital where she belongs? Why is she off doing what she's doing? We're going to get a lot of info now. We're probably going to get a lot of characterization now for the queen. And the queen is the one that's really pulling some strings behind the scenes, right? She is acting behind the scenes. She is truly the strongest person in the whole country. But yet... She's not there leading. So I can't wait till we get a bunch of info dump, man. I want the info dump so bad. But they got to travel the complete country. And we know that the heroes may not be chasing them because Ren may be putting into that or Ren won't be chasing them. But uh, the, others, the other two may. I wouldn't be surprised. I, Spear Hero, probably. Air, Arrow Hero. He's halfway intelligent. He's semi-intelligent, so I don't know. But he's kind of a dumbass at the same time, so I don't know. So, other than that, though, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter, X25. You guys have been hexed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button while you're at it, too.